What is this? Phase Gate. In this world, there exists a kind of ruin device known as the Phase Gate. When two Phase Gates are in phase, it seems that an energy route is established between them. Those capable of manipulating the elements can use this to travel far and wide. Use Elemental Sight to check the way the opposite door is facing. This might be taking me backward. No, it seemed to work out okay. Great. Yes, Captain Duck. Thank you, my friend. Now I'm seeing that. All right, so where are we on the map now? Oh, we're getting really close to where we need to go. Perfect. We made it. All right. We're looking for some Ronin. Anyone see any? This mechanism looks super complicated, but Paimon's sure that we can do it? Yes, it does look super complicated. It looks like all you have to do is rotate some things. All right, Kachin, can you... Yep, she rotated it. Okay. So, let me see. I need him to what? Point to this? Okay. No. Incoming. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Or maybe I don't get it, but I'm going to pretend like I get it. Speed of light. No. Some of them you can rotate, some of them you can't. What's this poster say? Oh, it's just an enigmatic page. Oh, here we go. This is a very interesting ruin machine indeed. I shall assign a number to each of these cubes' positions. One shall be north, east shall be two, south three, west four. Adding on another four for those cubes' floating stone, uh, stone slates gives us five through eight. The sole empty position shall be nine thus making up our nine slotted puzzle. The lights on the stones don't seem to mean much. In that case, now then, let's try to make the sum of the numbers along the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines the same. And Eureka, I've solved it. Well, that's another entry for my thesis. Ah, I see. It is Sudoku, that's awesome. No, I haven't finished it, people, but I've just been taking a break from it. Okay. Um, so let's see. If we need it to... So this one is fixed, right? And it's facing... Uh, let me look at the directions on the map. It's facing south. So that's a two. And then we need them to all equal the same. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't need Electro, you can just normal hit it? Oh, great. Okay, thank goodness. That was going to take me forever. Okay. Um, so, if this is two, and this is... Wait, one, two, three. Oh, no, this is three, this is two. Hmm. Okay. And then this has to be one. Uh-huh. Alright, so if that has to be one, and that has to be three, and then this is two, then that's six. And then we have three, and three, and that's already too many. So this cannot be a three. I see. I think it's four, exactly, Inery. And so some of them, like, this one I can turn. Oh. That's hilarious. We got it. See, people? That's how good we can do it. I was just... Yep, yep, yep. Lucked into it. No problems. All right. 
I did that on purpose. On to the next. I, I ran a complex mathematical algorithm to solve that. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go beat some Ronin. Oh, I see him over there. I know, I was getting ready to, like, I was all hunkering in and getting ready to start prepping like a Sudoku, and then it was over. I'll take it. There's so many of them. Oh, come on. That's not even all of them. They have two more camps nearby. It ain't a problem. Whichever camp we attack, it's the Ronin in the other two camps that'll cause us issues. They might decide to provide backup or abandon them and escape on their own. And let's attack all at once. But Captain, that would put you in great danger. I'm good. If we spread I'm worried about you. Thin, we won't have enough men to guard you. It's too risky. <laughs> I love the travels the traveler's face right here. He's like, dude, you're gonna we can't risk you, and he's just looking at him in the most like you know, condescending way with his hand like, I'm gonna be fine, little soldier. Little Padawan, I'm gonna be okay. It's you that I'm terrified for. Yep, the traveler eats amateurs like these for breakfast. All right then, we'll deal with them all in one go. <laughs> That's right, Samuel. I was showing it off. I just wanted to impress everybody here with my amazing skills. Unfortunately, my degree is in English, and so uh, not mathematics. So I won't be doing any complex solving. Hi. Let's get down to business. Are you guys familiar with the Fatui? I just want you to know that there is nowhere you can hide. Oh, more of you guys. Hi. Look. This is Klee. Oh, okay. I see you've got your, like, little pattern down. Okay. You didn't have to do all that damage. Look, buddy. You're mine, buddy. This guy is actually being annoying. Is he healing himself? Yeah, he's healing himself. I feel like he is anyway. The two camps have been cleared. The entire rear guard of Watatsumi Island is now secure. Great. Great! <sighs> we solved the Ronin problem and got everyone to look up to us, too. Yes, that's right. We solved uh, the problem. What's next? Let's go back and check with Kokomi. Kokomi. Let's Finally, do it. Finally, we got it done. We did. These Ronin have been bugging me for ages, but Kotoku wouldn't let us at him until now. What? No way could you have taken them down without the new captain here. I was putting the safety of the team first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. You were just being a coward. Aww. Hey, cut the attitude. Yeah, really. Cut the attitude. Please, guys, honestly. 
Forget them. Let's go. Hey, that's right, Captain Duck. I see that. That's awesome. Yeah, you're like, hey, it's me. I always get happy like that, Captain Duck, when people in the game call me incompetent. I'm like, hey, yeah, you're right. Thanks. How's it going? All right, so let's see. We need to go back here. Oh. Here. All right. Let's talk to her. She's going to be thrilled. Excellency, we did it. Excellent lady. How was it? Did your initiation go smoothly? Without a hitch. <laughs> I'm sure you're playing it down a little. Kotoku and the others put you through your paces, I presume. <laughs> nice, Samuel. But with your level of ability, I'm sure it was a walk in the park. That's right, Ainre. I saw the eel just sticking up. I was like, I'll take this as a little snack for the road. Since you're back, I take it that the Ronin are now gone from Watatsumi Island? Yeah, they're gone. You bet! We sure showed them who's boss! Good. Now we just need to make sure Okubo keeps a close watch to prevent their resurgence. Thank you. I believe in rewarding merit, so you will be compensated for your hard work. Um, let me see. Hmm, too soon for another promotion, I think. I could increase your pay. Me too, Kuro. It's so rare when the traveler speaks. Hey, where's Tepi? I gave him an assignment. He's taking part in a surprise attack against the Shogun's Navy. Uh-oh. He expressed a desire to be on the front line, so I honored his wishes. With a death mission. Now, speaking of assignments, I have a special mission I'd like to give you. Thank you. A special mission? Yes. In between Watatsumi Island and Tarasuna, there are some ruins relating to a god who fell in the Archon War. There are several small islands there, often used as a transit point when transporting supplies. Exactly. Schneck, and I feel Sailor Moon so much from Kokomi. Recently, however, supplies stored there have started to go missing for no obvious reason. Stranger still, the Resistance Army passed by and reported they found no signs of danger. I'd like to task you with getting to the bottom of this. Hmm, I can. But it's not urgent, so there is no need to leave immediately. I suggest you take a few days to familiarize yourselves with the army, and also with Watatsumi Island. Hmm. When Tepe returns, you can catch up with him. Then pick a day when the weather's good to set sail for the islands. Is Tepe really gonna be okay? He has a tendency to dive into action without thinking things through. Oh, Paimon can't help but feel a little worried about him. Oh, why don't we go wait for him at the training grounds? All right. Long time no see. Hey, Tepe. So, how's Swordfish 2 treating you? It's great, man. Okay with everyone? Oh, yeah. Well enough. <laughs> well, you're in luck, because this seasoned veteran's got a few leadership tips for you. Raising their pay will boost morale, while giving them a few bounties will act as an incentive to go the extra mile. It's also important to maintain strict discipline at all times, and finally... Uh, wait. What was it? Uh... What was it? Wow. Where'd you learn all that, Tepe? I read it in a novel from the Yai Publishing House. It was a long time ago. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many doggo it took to convince my friend to let me borrow it. Yeah, I feel you, crew. I kind of want to play with the and, and listen to the you know the Japanese and Chinese dubs at some point. You're seriously gonna use a novel to tell people how to run an army? Pretty sure that's called being an armchair general. Ha <laughs> ha! That's where you underestimate me. That's right. I'm learning military management on the job now. Just like you. Wait, you mean... You'd better believe it. Thanks to my outstanding achievements in the recent naval battle, I have officially been made the captain of my very own special operations unit. Swordfish 105. It's a brand new unit. Herring 1. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? Nice. 
Good for you, Teppy. I spoke to Her Excellency, and she says our uniforms are in production. Let's go collect them together once they're ready. Oh, I can't wait to put them on. We're really gonna look the part. It's a bikini. <laughs> Everything's going great. Our mystery sponsor supplies have really helped turn things around. Will Paimon get a uniform too? Of course. You're a recognized member of the Watatsumi Island Resistance. Yippee! Captain, a new assignment has come in. Thank you, soldier. I'll be there on the double. I know. All right. Kuro. Better go. <laughs> See you again soon. You'd better watch out, partner. At the rate I'm going, I'll overtake you if you're not careful. <laughs> not yet, people. Dreams, You'll never overtake us. <laughs> I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. I'm at the top of my game right now. This is my time to shine. Why is everything in the game telling me that Teppi is going to be killed in just a moment? Check them out. <laughs> oh, Schnecken, just because of his hubris, like, just because, you know, they he keeps, like, getting promoted and he thinks he's going to do great, it just seems like, you know, he's going to have a downfall. When we found him, he was not a good fighter. And so, you know, the idea that he's going to suddenly become one seems a bit hard to believe. Snapshot. All right, so we need to go investigate some ancient ruins. Oh, those are far away. Uh, I don't have a realistic teleport to this. I guess this is my closest one. All right, let's see. It's behind me. Okay. Oh, people. The thing is, too, I have so many games that I've already acquired from Game Passes um, that I can't justifiably buy a new game right now until I beat some of the games I have. It would just be wasteful. Alright, let's turn on this Wave Rider thing. Actually, no, I already did turn on this Wave Rider thing. Alright, and we can just walk across, I guess. Go, go, go. Swim, you beautiful... Oh my god. The lightning. My god, man. They sure do. Oh, cool, Captain Duck. Where's the other one? Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, wow, these turn off fast. All right. 
I gotta change my uh, party setup then. Behold, the princess. Now this I didn't expect. Um, I don't have a healer now. I, di I didn't know this was going to happen. Wow. God, this sucks. I didn't even have time to eat. Yeah, I did, but she got killed instantly. All right. Well, let's try to revive her. And... Ah, oh, here. I'm gonna go over here. Let me just give her some regular food. You got that right. It sure is. All right. Yeah. The thing is, um, I just didn't know I was going to have to fight. I was just doing a puzzle, and so I didn't configure my party knowing that I was going to have to fight against um, an enemy like this. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, True Full Send, what is up, my friend? Oh, it's Brew. You changed your whole branding? Nice, Brew. That's cool. Good to see you, my friend. How you doing? As monsters go, that one was pretty tough. Um, but what's such a huge Thunderhome Lodge Earl, doing here in the first place? Hmm. Nice, Brew. It's one of those good days. Hopefully you get to just chill at your place and don't get called in anywhere. Wow. This is a surprise. I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. What happened to you, dude? You're all covered in dirt. Oh, people, don't speak too soon. Wait until you try it. You gotta play it yourself. I just got back from delivering some supplies to the front line. I figured I'd stop by and clear any threats in this area on the way back. <coughs> Whoa, Herring won. Are you all right there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worst for wear. Yeah, you don't look so good. I'm fine. It's nothing. I must have caught a cold a couple of days ago while I was out at sea. On my way past, I heard that someone had just arrived on the island to investigate, so I thought I'd come and take a look. If there'd been some real danger, I might have had the chance to be the hero. <laughs> Shame it was just you guys. I came here for nothing. No. Pepe, don't you think there's something strange about this place? Yeah. Hmm. Now that you mention it, there is something a little off about it. Oh, yeah? It could be that the Tatarigami is more palpable here, I guess. We're not that far away from Horobashi's remains. Horobashi? Who's that? A god. Look, there's the corpse over there. Wow, look at that big dragon mouth. Ah, it's a gigantic snake skeleton! It does look pretty scary. Oh, 
Kakashi was the one who brought our ancestors from Menkanomiya to the surface. That's the origin of the Watatsumi Island you know today. Our ancestors regarded it as a guardian deity. <laughs> but during the Archon War, Orobashi invaded Yashiori Island. The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Orobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. That same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. Musojin Gorge. Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible. That is pretty incredible. Yes, but the Archon War was brutal. <laughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They say the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way, too. Hmm. Uh, since Orobashi's death, there has always been... <coughs> some animosity between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, but our different beliefs have nothing to do with why the Resistance was formed. We only rose up to fight against the Vision Hunt Decree. Mm. When Orobashi attacked civilization, the Shogun stood up and put a stop to it. Mm. But now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <coughs> God, what's wrong with this guy? All right. I'm heading back. I was just dealing with some of the Shogun's elite samurai, so I think I'm going to take a quick breather, and it's on to my next assignment. Uh-huh. You should report back to Sangonomi as soon as possible. Don't stay here longer than you need to. Being around the Tatarigami too long won't do your help any good. All right. <laughs> uh, take care of yourself. Don't worry about me. Peak condition. Peak condition? Yeah, and the thing, too, about the game, um, people, is that, like Schnecken said, it's... The combat is actually fun, and there is um, strategy and complexity to it, for sure. But it's not a pure combat game. Like, it's open world with lots of exploration, a whole bunch of story. There's climbing, um, you know, there's leveling up your your abilities, your weapons, there's crafting. So there's a, there's a bunch more going on in this than just combat. It, it's a synthesis of lots of game types. It's like, a, a, you know, heavily influenced by Breath of the Wild, but also... Uh, the combat is is more frenetic than that, and there's more story, lore, questing, uh, like an MMO kind of almost with with the amount of quests and, and side things there are. Let's report back to Kokomi. Yeah, his coughing doesn't look good. All right, so we can go report back here. Awesome. Uh, maybe some of them people, but I, from what I understand, you know, samurai um, used katana and ninjas used, uh, you know, shoto uh, and uh, throwing weapons. So you have all kinds of equipment. There are people in this game that use bows. There's several bow users. There's spear users. There's sword users. 